Hi guys, I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone. Uh, you would click the join button and you can scroll and you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos. And you can also um, get one question answered by me every month. Um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds. There is also another tier uh, for $14.99, uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos. So take advantage now. Uh, it's here for you. Thank you. Take care. Hi, Aquarius. You know what it is. It's your daily reading, Aquarius. Thank you for being so consistent. Uh, for the comments, for all of the love shown. It means so much. Uh, it means so much when you guys let me know how much these readings are helping you, helping you find clarity. Uh, so uh, thank you, okay? Uh, and thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. So let's get into it, Aquarius. We're going to talk about love. We're going to talk about career, finance, all of that. Maybe even spiritual path. All right, so what's going on for Aquarius? And love what are the love messages i heard it's different i heard it's different it's different for all okay it's different what is this about king of swords page of pentacles you could have been dealing with somebody i heard virgo capricorn aquarius gemini libra you got scorpio showing up somebody who was just giving very solid words so the what they were saying to you it put you in a place where you felt like you could trust it. It was what they were saying to you felt like, okay, we're building towards something. You were dealing with this person and you know, it was like, okay, well they're making promises like this or they're talking like this. So maybe we're, we're going in a new direction. The two of swords, but you came out of confusion quick Two of swords in reverse. None of these cards should be reversed. Anyway, um, the two of swords in reverse so you came out of that illusion confusion quickly for some of you it's no compromise no reconciliation no coming back together the power struggle is over why why does aquarius feel this way or your person feels like there's no compromise with you you won't allow them to come back the eight of wands Maybe you said something or you did something or they communicated something to you and then you closed it out. Or there was closure or conclusion. Something came to an end, conclude. Yeah, seven of one. So, so maybe you put up some boundaries. You block something, you block them, either physically block them like on your phone and your devices or... You block communication or you didn't give communication. They said something to you and you just didn't respond. It's like an energy of not responding or it was a, a simple response. It wasn't what they were expecting. You didn't allow for this person to disrupt or destruct what you were doing. That caused for, for them to be inquisitive about do you have somebody else also it calls for them to you know inquire about wow is this really the end of our connection because typically the aquarius will fight for my affection or, or yeah fight to keep my attention and now they're just letting it go okay so your person may be saying wow this feels like it's really over because they're not acting like they used to act you know three of cups so now someone is seeing you as the one that has gotten away uh or the one that's getting away the three of cups somebody is seeing you as success they can have success with you it's, it's you know a good thing to build with you to create with you this person could even want to communicate how they're feeling that they you know had a rough childhood or they saw a lot or 
they you know they, they weren't open this person sees you as abundant as um flourishing having success in your life will of fortune they see you as your for they see you as your fortune is changing yeah you're getting coming into some newfound wealth you're creating all kinds of things for yourself and they may come back to steal and destroy maybe even get i don't know but definitely to take usurp to be deceptive because how they see you they, they're coming back to be a trickster the seven is about trickster they're coming back to master something to be the master over you or trick you mastery so this is a person who's going to come back and they're going to masquerade okay like they want the relationship but really deep down inside they are the lone wolf they are the king of swords the quintessential eternal bachelor like this is a person who could be single for the rest of their life now will they have relations and relationships yeah but serious ones probably not they could be narcissistic in some capacity maybe even a psychopath a sociopath i don't know but be weary of this person coming back Aquarius because they be, could be coming back because they see you getting they see you all this winning all of this abundance all this beauty all this splendor all this attention and they want to take you know they want to act like they want to be with you on a um you know on a, on a, a level a real level like they want to be your man or your woman and they could just be coming back to take from you all right, let's see if we can gather some more information about this person. Um, and then we're going to jump into career. Let's see. All right, let's see what's going on for Aquarius in this particular person. I knew it. So beard popped out. So they could be, you know, they could be uh, undercover in terms of their sexuality. They could want you as a beard. But Beard with Seven of Swords says that this is somebody trying to act, masquerade, put on a costume. Most times when you see like a Halloween, for, uh, you put on a costume, most costumes would have a beard or some type of facial um, component to it to hide. So this person is coming to hide or be or um, hide their true intentions, masquerade. They're going to put on a costume. They're going to act. Yeah. So they could be coming back trying to take and act like they are not. Right. But you're seeing clear. You, have, you see clear through them. It's like they have clear skin. Um, you can see right clear through their heart. It's black. It's cold. You know, um, a leopard doesn't change its spots. And you're learning that you're seeing that clearly now and you've got some express knowledge about who they really are what else about this person uh, they were putting others before the relationship but now they see you winning they want to come back and act like you know they're going to be everything that they they weren't complacent they're okay with being who they are that's the thing about it growth and higher vibration and all that stuff no they know who they are they've accepted it they're okay with being there you know they, they're not striving to be more this is a person who did a lot of talking not enough action would say anything to you to get you to stay but they wanted you in this this uh position side chick or side do forever when they got bored they want to come to you or when they get bored they want to come to you mess with you take your energy this could be somebody who drinks a lot likes to be drunk get drunk again they see you as resourceful let's see what else and then we'll we'll jump into career now they're straight up stalking you I think they they feel 
that you're about to embark on something great or maybe find your true love or a lover that will love you like they never can or never will now they're viewing you as likable or they want you to view them as likable they know that you're about to be dating or you're dating other people and they just want to disturb disrupt you know cause destruction and all of that not because they want you it's like okay let me mess up your life and then leave <laughs> you know they find it funny they love everything about you and they do love everything about you but um they can't give you what you deserve it's just not in them it, they don't possess it so it's almost as if Aquarius you are asking for someone to give you what they don't have they were wait they're waiting for you to reach out or waiting for your warmth your warmth they're waiting for, they feel like this is just another go round you'll be back this is what we do they remember they're remembering the time where you did leave and then you came back and they just feel like oh this is what will happen they're all together a low life okay it is what it is they just low vibing and it you can't really what can you do let's talk about your career let's talk about career and finance okay let's go here all right career and finance for aquarius oh advice okay so advice for love and romance advice for love and romance yeah. what do we advise palm tree find stability security and permanence elsewhere okay be flexible don't be so rigid and stuck on one person i know you're a fixed sign but you have to have knowledge of that so that when you find that you're fixed on something you can start to wean yourself off of it or you can at least acknowledge it and, and make adjustments you know like oh that's me being this old fixed aquarius let me learn how to redirect uh, my focus get off of this because it's not good for me some of you are stuck on your ex all right let's see yeah sword and rose coming out this is the advice clarity truth revelation solidarity force protection protect yourself take your power back because you can find unconditional love giving and receiving and you can fall in love here um not particularly with this person but someone else it's about taking your power back from you know this relationship and finding permanence a uh, stability uh, an enduring relationship someone that will give you unconditional love if you just take your power back yeah the phoenix rising from the ashes um a renewal transformation growth and a changed mind yep this person is definitely waiting for you to reach out and spirit wants you to know that they're waiting you know they're hovering over their phone over their email over however you communicate with this person like i know aquarius is going to reach out do keep in mind aquarius finding this new love it's not that you break up with your ex a month ago a week ago and then new love comes showing up to you know right off into the sunset with the cards I want you to know you need time it's going to take time time to heal and progress give yourself time but if you do that then you can have wedding bells wedding rings getting married soul connection eternal love wow Aquarius and look what this stalker is going to do we did have straight up stalking I think come out you be watching you looking stalking gaslighting focusing out like it is what it is this could have even been like a twin flame connection it's time to put it to bed you got twin flame and coffin coming out it's time to liberate yourself from this maybe stay so long because you're like oh this is my twin flame as if that means much i mean just acknowledge it and move on right especially if this person is not giving you what you want if you just find yourself depleted uh either you like the cycle or you're addicted to it you're so you're codependent all right let's see what career and finance has to offer Aquarius so you got your advice there basically move on Aquarius just move on just keep walking keep doing the work to get over to heal all right and you might even find that you change your mind down the road all right career and finance for Aquarius five of wands 
Um, so you got a lot going on. Um, maybe a lot of irons in the fire. You're trying to get a lot done. Your energy is stretched. Um, there's competition in some type of job that you're in or there was, or there's competing goals. Maybe you got a lot going on and this goal is competing with the other because this goal takes time for this and that one. So maybe you need to kind of focus in on one, make it work and then move to the next. This also could be that you're in sales of some sort. You're in sales. Four of Wands, very nice. So it's like you're going to accomplish a big goal. You can land a big contract. You're, you're going to um, have cause or reason to celebrate. Something's going to come full circle for you. So don't get discouraged. And that Seven of Pentacles money that you're waiting for could be coming to you. Uh, you're going to mature in your career uh, with your finances. Be prudent with your money uh store up um this is also finish what you start if you started something finish it don't just say well it's not working continue be the wheel be the eight of pentacles or you just continue working on it and you you have a breakthrough okay you can't have a breakthrough if you only worked on it for one month and you're like well it doesn't work um yeah you might be frustrated with how things are turning out but it says harvest could come to you maybe in the fall you can see a change eight of cups some of you left something behind or you're leaving something behind and then you're embarking on something different judgment you made a decision or you need to make a decision now some fast quick decision to maybe leave something that is familiar and go to the unknown the grass is greener on the other side so this would be leaving maybe a job and becoming independent nine of pentacles doing some independent freelance contract um have your own business type of work you have your own shop or salon or whatever um to put something out there it says you are abundant you're going to be abundant you whatever it is you, you're doing it's going to be abundant you have ten of wands you're on the brink of something really big keep going i mean it could be it could feel like a burden weight on your shoulders but keep going some of you are kind of on autopilot don't know where you're going to land the moon you're kind of confused here you could be having some confusing dreams or premonition or you don't know what this means there are hidden enemies around you keep that in mind there are people who are just not happy for you keep your plans to yourself yeah, uh, the hangman coming out. What do you need to sacrifice? You might be lying to yourself, telling yourself that you can do it all, that you can have it all, that you can make all of these things successful at the same time. You might need to sacrifice something to actually have something else. Uh, look at something from a different perspective. Gain perspective by turning something on its head. Queen of Cups. You have something to offer the world. You might have to leave something behind so that you can offer it to the world. You can't do both. You have a very layered personality. You know, there's so much going on with you. And there's so much that you can offer any connection, relationship, business, or whatever. Nine of Cups. Looks, yeah, it looks like if you choose to put yourself out in front offer your spiritual advice advisement to the world you could have fame fortune acclaim you could live a, a lap of luxury if you already don't it says don't get in your own way with the four of cups and tell yourself you can't do it don't be so focused and self-centered on what isn't or what you can't do or to where you do nothing and you miss the blessing or the opportunity. Let's see what else. The seven of cups. Yeah, don't rest in procrastination, um, overthinking, overindulgence, wishful thinking, and not enough action. Be action-oriented. Two of Pentacles, make a plan and enact the plan. M make some moves. 
the nine of swords um don't make any decisions out of fear it, we know that making decisions from fear is the wrong decision so we don't want to do that uh don't think negative don't think about what you don't want to happen or what you don't have or think about what you want to come into you and what you do have king of cups some of you are gonna be focused on business matters or you are focused on business matters um be very diligent with business um especially if this is artistic or this is something that you create you have good bedside manner or you have a really good demeanor about yourself of how you put something out there there's eloquence in how you you release or how you give there could be a relationship here i don't know page of swords yeah you need to learn something study 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 hard ask questions be inquisitive um think outside of the box of how to make money what can you monetize what are you good at there might be delays or delayed news but it's still a yes answer let's see what else three of cups it looks like you're gonna have cause to celebrate because you achieved something achievement success victory triumph so you you have to publicly uh triumph before those who maybe even said that you couldn't do it you're gonna have a complete transformation of who you are um you go from one dynamic to the next employee to employer uh single to married um a nobody or unknown to known by many famous uh, there's going to be jealousy and envy here because you're going to be liberated from an old dynamic and you're going to go to something new. I heard you can bet your bottom dollar. I don't know what that's about. Uh, let's leave you with some of these cards. What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Mars, take action, boo desires your impulse courage be forceful heat strength competition um, working out working out will give you increased energy uh, mental energy so that you can uh, create okay um sex drive willpower uh engine leadership so put yourself out front here take action with the mars energy um the god of war right or the planet of war uh so it's about getting out the capricorn came out the boss that's what i'm talking about so you got leadership and the boss so some of you are about to really boss up in your life in your career and finance this is what you're after um you're gonna be serious and authoritative ambitious realis realistic corporate reserved rigid discipline to get things done traditional very nice you're going to uproot yourself with the fourth house roots um maybe even uproot your family because or real estate or take out a loan on your real estate um so that you can start this thing or so that you can get something out to the world um you can take time for yourself also uh to regroup energize re-energize especially if you're feminine energy let's see what else do we have neptune dreams don't be too dreamy guys you saw that um get things done you know self-sacrifice ideals meditation spirituality enchantment confusion magic some of you are using all of that to bring in uh you know all the things that you want all your dreams but also take action so you got dreams magic enchantments maybe affirmations then you also have action so be practical and also spiritual in your approach don't be one of don't just be one of these things where you, you're so naming and claiming and i did a magic and potion to where you take no action you, you still live in the real world you got to do that um you have a far-reaching outlook whatever it is you're doing is going to have a far-reaching outlook things are going to kind of align for you where it just flows abundance flows to you aid people supporting you gifts things come to you with ease so this is absolutely gorgeous aquarius keep in mind this person wanting to come back wanting to be in your energy they see you flourishing abundant 
beautiful outgoing still doing things not focused on them putting up boundaries not reaching out and it's driving them crazy it's driving them crazy to not have access to you it's not that oh it's driving me crazy because i'm so in love with the aquarius no it's like well i've never seen them act in this manner therefore i've got to go in and stir up the pot so that they can chase me again because i do love it when the aquarius moves away from their position in life and chases me because that makes me feel important and i'm a big old kid so that's what you're dealing with and i'm a low life okay aquarius this is what i have for you if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section uh tonight is a new moon do your new moon rituals um, take action on things that you can take action on for it is on us to do the possible and for god to do the impossible um be the boss in your life it looks like some of you are embarking on a very very big thing a very very big deal get your own personal reading by going over to the website um, book your reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy yellow coffee link let the exchange happen if you took something from the reading give something back if you're in you know in that energy where you can um always pour into things and people that you know you can that you get something from and it's not that it's for me but it's it's for our vibration and it's definitely for yours you don't want to just be a taker you gave you know and you planted seeds so um so 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 into things that um add value to you that's all i have aquarius i'm live every tuesday thursday and sunday night doing a collective reading and then answering your questions many blessings to you take care Thank you.